Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Marcos. Hi, Lisette. Hi, Luis. Hi, Maggie. Thank you for joining on time. Hi, Jadixa. Carla is joining. Let's wait for the other ones to join the class, okay? Thank you very much for joining on time, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Luis. How are you? Fine, teacher. Great. And you, and you teacher. I'm better. There was a big storm here and there were a lot of thunders in my house. <laughs> I mean in the place where I am where I am where I am right now. But right now it's a little bit calm. You should, even, excuse me? You should get out. No, Luis, come on. You're so mean. No, I shouldn't go out. <laughs> there are a lot of thunders. I counted 10 thunders in a row. No, in a row, no. Maybe there were like five minutes or six minutes, something like that, um, between every thunder. But there were strong thunders, strong thunders. And I'm afraid of thunders. <laughs> I'm like a little child because I'm afraid of thunders. <laughs> and I was in classes. It was difficult for me because sometimes I cannot like, um, how do you say that? I mean, I, I, I always show my, my, my feelings. So... <laughs> And I didn't even hear my students. They could hear me because of the app that I have already installed in my computer. But sometimes it's difficult for me to try to uh, dissemble or not dissemble, like pretending something that is not or hiding my feelings. I cannot hide my feelings. <laughs> So I cannot do that. Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Hi, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Great. Perfect. We will start in just one moment, guys. Okay? Just let me have one moment and we will start. Okay?
Okay, I can see Marielos, Estefania, and Jonathan is here. Hello, hello, welcome guys. Thank you for joining on time. I believe we will start the class right now. Hi, Lisette, welcome. Hi, Jaime. Hi, Amilcar. Who else is here? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Fatima, hello, Fatima. Hello, teacher. Fíjese que la cámara no me está funcionando. Uh, no worries then. Let me know whenever you can connect it and while you are doing it, it's fine, Fatima. Thank you. Gracias, teacher. Okay, guys, let me go through the attendance list, okay? One moment. Okay, let's see. Hi, Julio. Welcome. Okay, guys. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Presente, teacher. Perdón, Jonathan. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Um, Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amir Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Um, Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. A uh, Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ok, great. Nelson, um, no está Nelson todavía acá, Nelson Antonio.
No rain. Just allow me one moment, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. And we will start with the class today. We have a new topic right now. And I will share the screen. This is a review about how to use there is and there are. Okay. I know this topic is not a new topic. All right. You already know how to use there is and there are. However, we will have some review and more information today about there is and there are, okay? This is the class number six. And by the way, thank you very much for completing, uh, I mean, for completing all the homework assignments and the activities. If you have any questions regarding that, you let me know. And for the ones that are still missing, please do me a favor and try to complete all this today, guys, please, because I already sent the grades today. Um, if there is a chance that I can go ahead and just add those grades, I'll do it. But please send it to me today. Okay. So we have a reading and a speaking practice in which we will have a conversation reading, guys. And you will answer some questions. And after that, we will start with the new topic, okay? Actually, we'll start with the topic right away, sorry. Okay, here you have it. This is the conversation. Let's listen to the conversation. I'll go ahead and read it right now. And then try to answer the question that you have below. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just um, read this conversation for you guys. Try to practice, um, try to listen how the pronunciation goes and later on you will practice together. Okay, I mean, you will practice here with me. Okay. Um, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Arch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not, there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What about, I'm sorry, what company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet, okay? So here we have this conversation. Now let's go ahead and listen and repeat. Listen and repeat the conversation, guys. Let's see. Okay, uh, my name is Sam. Nice to meet you. My name is Tom. Nice, nice to meet you. Tom, nice to meet you. Sorry, I was in, in, it was with the microphone off. Nice to meet you. I'm Orson. I work for Arch. Nice to meet you. I am Orson. I work for Arch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Oh, oh now that no, company. company. There is a company in San Salvador downtown. 
Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. Yes, yes. yes. we're yes. growing. Yes. So there are, so there not, are many not many branches in the country, in the country yet. yet. There are few. Uh, what about, sorry, what company do you work for? What company do you work for? What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in, in the country. I work for I Eco, work for the, Eco painting the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. In the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. That's great. That's great. I visited, I visited on the other day. The other day. Other. Yeah, there are six in El Salvador. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, there, there are, are six, six in El Salvador. 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 We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. They, there isn't one yet. <laughs> We are planning in Santa Ana. One in Santa Ana. There is one in Santa Ana. Sorry, guys. I'm just reviewing this message. El me pone 28 de marzo y no me deja ingresar. Give me a moment. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, guys. So, um, let me stop sharing just for a while, and let me share something else because I have an act another activity for you. We will go ahead and answer the questions later on. Sorry. Guys, um, we will go ahead and watch a video, okay? We will watch a video about band branches and discuss with the class later on. We will uh, discuss some things about band, bran band branches. So let me get a second and let me play the video, okay? About band branches. Allow me just a second. <gasps> One moment, guys. There is a problem with the video, and I can't believe it. Oh, now it's working. <gasps> no, it's working. No, it's working now. One moment. <laughs> Um, let's see. Sorry, guys. There is a problem with the video that I didn't expect. Okay, this is what we will do. I didn't expect that right now the video doesn't work um it should be working previously but it's not working right now i don't know why do me a favor guys i would like to ask you right now okay we will go to the next step let me share the screen again sorry for that inconvenience but we don't have available that video anymore for any reason we don't have it i don't know why so I would like to ask you, what do you know about band branches, guys? What do you know about this? 
you have any any idea about what is a band branch or what is band branches very good great so that's the branches of one bed right could you please give me an example about the branches no agricola. okay there are a lot of agricola banks right a lot of branches in El Salvador. I believe we have uh, those branches in every, almost all the cities in El Salvador, right? Almost all the cities in El Salvador. I don't say the departments because the department has many cities. So I believe there are many branches in all the cities in El Salvador. So very good. Now, that you already know about this. I mean, I, I don't doubt that at the very first time you understood about the branches, but now that you, uh, we'll review a little bit about branches, band branches, guys. I would like to ask you um, to go ahead and fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences, okay? Uh, let's see. According to this reading, according to the conversation here, there is or there are three offices in El Salvador. How is the best way of saying according to the previous knowledge that you have about there is and there are, guys? How would, how would I say this? There is or there are three offices in El Salvador? There are. There are. There are. Okay, great. So there are um, three offices in El Salvador. Very good. So according to the reading, is that correct? No. How many uh, offices in El Salvador are according to the reading? There is six in the Salvador. There is six in San Salvador, there right? Are, there are, sorry. sorry there, there is, are. ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> there <laughs> are, there are three offices in El Salvador. So what about the number two? There is or there are one store in Soyapango? There is. There, there is. is, sure? Yes. 100% sure? Yeah. Okay, great. So there is one store in Soyapango, is that? Correct? It's true or false? No. According to the reading? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. Uh, what about the number Salvador. three? Yeah. Huh? In Soyapango? Soyapango. Yeah. No, there is no branches in Soyapango, right? Uh, what about the number three? There is or there are no any offices in this region yet? There are. There are. There are not. There, there are. are not any offices. Very good. Any offices in this region yet? Okay, great. So, guys, um, now we have another task for you, okay? I will go ahead and make pairs and you will create a conversation with the same template. I mean, with the same words that we have here, but you will replace some words, okay? You will make it, I mean, you will personalize this conversation. Van a personalizar esta conversación de acuerdo a su información. For example, if I am talking uh, with Amilcar, I will say, hi, um, my name is Ruth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am uh, Amilcar, okay? I work for, and you will change the company and you will say your company, Amilcar. You will replace your information. Oh, I know that company, there is an office in, and I will replace this information. Yes, we're growing. So, si no está todavía growing, don't say that. But if you want, let's keep it. Si quieren, manténganlo. Pero ok, dice, so there are not many branches in the country yet. Esto pueden cambiarlo y pueden ponerlo lo contrario si no es así. There are few, there are a few. Esto lo pueden ustedes cambiar if you want. 
what company do you work for? Eso también lo van a cambiar, echo, because the other person is not going to be working on the same place, right? So this one is going to be changed. You will say how many branches are in your company. Uh, there are six in San Salvador, yes, and you will change this one as well, okay? So all this, the one that is in red is the one that you will change, okay? And you will make it more personal, okay? Ustedes lo van a cambiar para que sea más personal, más personalizado para ustedes, porque estamos creando una conversación. Y esa conversación es basada en la información que usted tiene, pues, donde usted trabaja, ¿ok? So, vamos a tropicalizarlo a su realidad. Así que con la persona que trabaje, también lo va a hacer de esa manera, ¿ok? So, I will share a photo about this conversation. Le voy a mandar una foto acerca de esta conversación. La información que está en the red, in the red squares are the ones that you will change, okay? So we will have to practice this conversation and we have 15 minutes para change the information and to practice it. Whenever you finish, you come back and we practice it together. Oh, I know that, I know that company. Okay, I already sent it to you guys. Let's change the information Practice it and come back to perform it, okay? Let me get a second and let me make the break uh, runes. One moment. Do you have any questions, guys? No questions? No, teacher. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, one moment, guys. I'm assigning to you to the runes, so one moment. Okay, guys, do me a favor and click on join, please. The link click on join. If there is someone that cannot participate, let me know, guys. Jarek said, click on join, please. Jarek said, click on join.
conversation and next we can we can do it like ourselves okay okay hi my name is kevin nice to meet you nice to meet you too i am christian i work and it's Fatima, hmm? do you work at Meliora? Si, Meliora. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I know that company. That company. Yes, I know. <laughs> because. Tenemos sucursales, stores, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, espérame que voy a... Nice to meet you. Okay, my car. Uh, nice to meet you too. I am Marcos. I work for Soluciones Publisher. Oh, no, that company. There is a office in, in San...
Hello, Jonathan. How are you? Sorry um, that there are a lot of people that I have already assigned to your room and no one is here. I don't know why. <laughs> I already assigned Kenny, I already assigned Marta, and they are not here. Oh my God. So, this is what we'll do, Jonathan. Let's go ahead and practice together, okay? I will help you with this conversation and we will do it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Very good, but uh, it's not a problem for me because in this moment I am not having my phone and I, I can see the group. Uh... And, and also I don't have the, the book. Uh, but I, I but I understand that we have to do one change in the conversation here. Yeah. Can you can you practice right now, Jonathan? Because I know sometimes you are in your job or you're busy. I understand yeah. that. So I don't know if right now if you can do it, I can practice with you and I can share the screen. Okay, okay, you can share share the screen. But... Okay, one moment. Let's see. Here we have it. Okay, so would you like to start or should I start? So let me check one more time the conversation. Yes, or if you want, um, Jonathan, let's go ahead and, you don't have your phone with you, you said, right? No, I, I am connected in another phone uh, in this moment because ah, my phone okay. is not very good. Ah, okay, Internet. okay. It's not so function very well. All right, don't worry. So let's have time for you to, to read it. I will wait for that, don't worry. And then uh, we will try to, to modify it, okay? I will try it as well. If you wanna, let's see. You start and I can continue, okay? I am Orson uh, and you are Tom. So we okay, can we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but but in in the both case, I we have to make uh, the change about uh -huh. yes. my company, it, for example. Exactly. In that case, you will change Tom's information, and I will change Orson's information. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I will okay. change it right now as well, <laughs> and okay. then I will practice. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna start. Then. Hi, my name is Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Ruth. I work for, um, let's see. I don't know how, what, do, uh, let's go ahead the, and invent. Let's go ahead and pepe, invent. Pepe. Okay, I work for TP. Okay. Because oh. I don't want to put my information. <laughs> okay, let's do it, Jonathan. <laughs> well, I know that's company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown uh, yeah yeah this is on, the, on every the country actually there are a lot right <laughs> in the <laughs> yeah. san salvador yes we are growing uh so there are there are many actually there are many branches in our country right now especially in san salvador that and it's in san salvador city and also in Santa Tecla. Um, what about, sorry, what company do you work for? Oh, I work for Paley Shoes. Uh, it's an um, shoe sales store. And we have also 23 branches and um, all the country. Wow, that's great, 23 branches. Okay. Um, no, let's see, that was mine, right? I work for Ica, the painting company that I turned. Oh, that's great. I, this is my, this is, uh -huh. this is my, or this is your. That's, that's great, great. From that's for, great, you know, it's, it's for mine, you. right? It's for oh, it's me, uh -huh. okay. no, you, we're okay, fine, right. we're fine. That's okay. great, 23 branches, wow. I have visited two branches. One in Santa Ana and the other one in San Salvador. Santa um, Ana, where, where Santa Ana? Metro Centro or Metro downtown? Centro. Metro oh, Centro. Uh -huh. I have I have ever been for three years ago in Metro Centro. Three years, really? Three Metro years Centro ago. Santa Ana. Metro Centro. The superstore is the most biggest store in El Salvador of Paris. Really? 
in Metro Centro yeah. or in downtown. In Metro Centro. That's Metro the biggest Centro. one. Metro Centro is the biggest store. Wow, I didn't know that. That's awesome. That was, that, it was my store for three years. For three years? Maybe I yeah. saw you there and you didn't notice. <laughs> I, I, I think I think that I am remembered, so I, no, I don't know. Uh, but uh, in, in this moment, I am working in San Salvador uh, City because uh, um, for a long time, um, I was traveling uh, to, San, to Santa Ana City and I am so very tired because uh, all the time it's very busy when you are driving now because this is the reason that when you are uh, starting the class all the time i am <laughs> driving oh my god so you are living right now in santa ana no no i live on lourdes ah, but okay. i have to travel to my store in this moment i have to Branch. Um, for example, I have one store in Alta Vista City, it's in Soya Pango, I think. In the other one is on uh, San Luis um, City. San Luis City, okay. That's why you're traveling a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's so very, very difficult because there are two different places and I have to move one of one, yeah. Yes, I, I got you. It's difficult, Jonathan. But thank you very much for, for telling me about that. The word is so small, right? The word is so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, there, there are one sentence more, I think. Yes, you told me. Uh, I visited yeah. one. Oh, it's your turn, right? Yeah, yeah. There are... Uh, I, I, I don't understand. Two in, two in Santa Ana, because I told you I visited one in Santa Ana and the other one in San Salvador. You can talk about either Santa Ana or San Salvador, about how many you, you, you have there. Oh, okay. There are two in Santa Ana. Uh huh. Uh, okay. We are planning uh, on launching one in Santa Ana. But I don't know when. They say they will launch one TP, in, I mean, in Santa Ana, but I don't know why. I don't know when, sorry. Because there ah, isn't okay. one yet. Ah, I have okay. heard about this, but I don't remember. I don't know, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know ah. right now, because I don't want because Santa Ana, Because I, I think Santa Ana is growing. It's growing, it's growing like a, a like Uh-huh, it's so... Uh, beauty place to live, beauty place to get a job, and mm -hmm. beauty, plus, beauty place to study that also, I think, mm -hmm. because I was, uh, I was living, no, I, I don't remember how can I say I, I am living, but in the past sense. Oh, I was living. I, I was, was living, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I was living in San Juan. I, uh, how long? Is, Oh, uh, the three years that I have. Oh, the three uh, years. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. But but uh, uh, I don't like to stay in Santa Ana because my family is in San Salvador. And, oh, and that okay. is the reason that I have to travel. Mm -hmm. So you prefer to, to be in, in San Salvador, right? Yeah, or, yeah. or at least close to that close to that place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan. Because of the time, we will go ahead and um, stay here. I mean, go ahead and stop right here. I believe the other ones have gone to the main room. So we will go ahead and join back, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. We will do it thank later on and I will share the screen so we can do it, okay? Very, okay, very good, good. Jonathan. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you, thank you. Let's see, let me go back to the, oh. Everyone, okay. I believe, is the, on the main room, so let me close. ¿Cuántas sucursales tiene el Six. Six branches in the country. Okay. That's great. Ya, ya salimos todos, creo. 
Thank you. Solamente a Jonathan me lo dejaron solo, ¿verdad, niñas? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, teacher. No, but that's great that you were practicing together. Thank okay, you, guys. Teacher. Thank you. I was practicing with Jonathan, so I went there and I was practicing with him. So let's es que wait for the other one. El internet, por eso es que dejé Jonathan solo. Ah, okay. But mm -hmm. that's fine that you practice here, so thank you, girls. Okay. We will wait for the rest of your of the participants to join to the main room. Let me get just one moment. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will go ahead and start right now, okay? Everyone is here. Teacher nos quitó la inspiración. Ah. Good, good. Good, okay. Okay. So I believe we will start right now. Who wants to who wants to start? A volunteer, guys. One volunteer. Do we have a volunteer? Marcos Antonio is smiling right now. I don't know. Maybe he wants to be the volunteer. No, teacher. Es que la cámara. Hello. <laughs> I will be the volunteer, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan, because I know you are going to be the volunteer. I practice with Jonathan because Jonathan didn't have a partner. So let's do it, Jonathan. I will share the screen, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay, here we have it. Jonathan, you star. Hello, my name is Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Ruth. I work for TP. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, they are a lot of uh branches in San Salvador actually we are growing a lot um there are a lot a lot around I mean mostly in San Salvador there are some well actually one in Santa Tecla yes and the the rest of them are in 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 San Salvador what company do you work for um uh I work for Payless Shoes Sword um the shoes sales company do there are 23 branches in the com in the country wow that's great 23 branches i remember i visited one of the stores um it was like five years ago in santa ana or three years ago that i visited one in santa ana and I visited one in San Salvador as well. That was like one or six, one year ago or six months ago. Yes, but I visited two of them, I believe. Yeah, there are two stores in Santa Ana City and uh, we, we have uh, um, also 18 stores in San Salvador. Wow, I didn't know that. I just went to the Metro Centro, Metro Centro branch. And regarding my company, we are planning to launch as well one in Santa Ana. I don't know when, but I believe it's gonna be soon because Santa Ana is one of the department that is growing a lot. So that's why they say they want to put one of them there. So I hope so. Yeah, see, Santa Ana is a beautiful place to live and get a job and study. I, I was 
working for a three years ago in San Ana. So I remember saw you <laughs> in some time. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe, right? Maybe you saw me there in, uh, in Metro Centro because you said that you were there. So, yeah. well, nice to meet you, Jonathan. And thank you very much for sharing that with me, okay? Thank you for you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye. A round of applause for Jonathan. Good job, Jonathan. Good. Okay, so Jonathan will decide who's next, okay? Hi, Jonathan, decide. <laughs> Let's choose just let, another let, person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I am I am saying my phone is it's not working. Ah, okay, okay. So, uh, Estela Mabel. Okay, Estela Mabel, go for it. I'm sorry, it's the first that I saw you. Estela Mabel is okay. Yes, Mabel. Uh, oh my God, who's your partner? I don't really remember. I'm sorry. Carla, uh, right? No. Sorry. No, Fatima. Fatima, sorry. Fatima and Mabel. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Is Fatima here? Yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, my name is Mabel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mabel. I'm Fatima. I work for Meliora. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in Antigua, Cuscatlán. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for UCA, the university uh, in Antigua, Cuscatlán too. There is a branch in, the, in this country. Oh, that's great. I studied, studied there. I'm graduate in 2015. Yeah, it's really great. Congrats. Thank you. I think I'm study a master there for next year. Oh, really? There are a lot of good options to you. Great. We finished. <laughs> wow, very good conversation. A round of applause for you, girls. Very good. Okay, let's see, Mabel. Could you please choose another person? Okay, give me a moment, please. Okay. No. Mm, Jaime. Okay, Jaime, Jaime and partner. <coughs> Wait, Carla. Carla and Jaime. Okay, let's do it, guys. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Carla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carla. My name is Jaime. I work for Generación 2000. Oh, I don't not company there is an office in san salvador no that company is a it's a school there is there are not branches <clears throat> in the country there is a one branch i work for colegio zaragoza there is one branches in the country that's great we work in the education company. <clears throat> can I visit one day? Yeah, you can visit it every day. Okay, we are planning together something, some activities. Finished, right? Very Finish. good, guys. Yeah. Amazing, good. Okay, let's see. Um, Carla, could you please choose another part, another person? Um, Christian. Christian and partner, thank you. 
Oke. Okay. Kevin. Okay. I made the conversation with Kevin. Hello, Kevin, are you here? Kevin, Kevin? Kevin, do you hear us? Yes, 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 I am. Uh, okay. I don't find the picture. Oh, no worries. Oh, we are sharing the screen right now. Yes, yes. You Thank can you. read it there. It, it's fine for you? No, I will make it bigger. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, Kevin, did you start? Okay. <clears throat> My name is Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Pisa. I work for a school in Lingo Matilito. Uh. I know the the school. There is there is in San Salvador downtown. Yes, in San Salvador, by in a in a zona rosa. There is a there is a normal bank. It's only one. Okay. Finish? I work for. Oh, okay, sorry. Work, what okay. company do you work for? I work for Tecaseo. That company has uh, mm -hmm. uh, branches. It's a uh, one base in Santa Fe. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there is a uh, in Santa Fe. We are planning on launching one in Santana, BK, the recent one day. Okay. Goodbye. Finish? Yeah. Yes, you can. Sorry, my, my my microphone was off. Very good, guys. Wonderful job. Okay, Kevin, could you please choose another person? Give me a second, please. Okay. Marcos Antonio? Marcos Antonio, is it? Sorry, we can hear you. Marcos Antonio. Oh, okay, Marcos Antonio. Okay, let's do it, Marcos and partner. My partner is Zulma. Zulma Star. Okay. Hi. Hello, my name is Zulma. Nice to meet you. Because... Nice to meet you too. I am Marcos. I work for Soluciones Publisher. Oh, no, the company. There, there is a, there is an office is in Santa Ana, downtown. No, no, we aren't. We are in San Salvador, in San Salvador City. And we have, uh, there is a uh, branches in Peters Avenue. What company do you work? Do you work for? I work for for legal office, there there are two branches in the country. 
That's great. I visit I visited I visited one of the store um the other day. Yeah. There are there are there is one in San Salvador. Uh, we are planning of launching one, one in San, in San Salvador. The this day there isn't one yet. Okay, very good, guys. Wonderful. Okay, Amarcos, who's next? Marcos, could you please choose the next person? Uh, um, Fatima Denise, no. Okay. Fatima already passed with Mabel, right? Yes. Okay, choose another, another person, please. Marcos, could you please choose another person? Okay, sorry, teacher. Um, let me see, let me see. Linda Magali. She's a listener, another person. Uh, Marta Lidia. Okay, Marta and Kenny, right? Just teacher. Okay, okay. Let's do it, girls. Kenny? Kenny here? I'm, I'm... Oh, okay, let's do okay. it. Okay. My name is Marta. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Kenny. Work for listening. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in Santa Ana? Yes. Yes. We are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. Uh, what company do you work for? I work for Alceri, uh, vehicle parts salad. There are six branches in the country. That's, That's great. I visit um, of the store the other day. Yeah, they are for in San Salvador. We are play, planning our launch one in San Salvador there these days. There is not one yet. Okay, very good, girls. Wonderful. Kenny, could you please choose another person? Tulma? Tulma Janera? Yarixa. She already passed, right, Yarixa? Did yes, you sir. choose another person, Kenny, please? Okay. Um Fatima or Fatima already passed. Um Estela? As well, yes. <laughs> Who's missing? There's missing Amilcar, Luis. Um who else? And Estefania. Amilcar. Amilcar, go for it, Amilcar. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, teacher. Um, it's still raining here, teacher. Really? Oh, but we can hear you. I know it's not going to be difficult for you, but we can hear you. Okay. Hey, my, my partner... I, I know my partner. Marielos. Ah, <laughs> oh, Marielos. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Okay. My name is Marielos. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. I am America. I work for Service Global. Oh, I can know that company that is an office in San Salvador City. Uh, there are not many branches in the country, in the country yet. There is one office in San Antonio by the street. What company do you work for? I work for KPMG, the audit company that is not branches in the country. That's great. I visited the company the other day. Yeah, thank you, Amelka. Uh, we are not planning other branches in the country. There is not one yet. A finished teacher. Great job, guys. Round of applause. Round of applause for you. Let's see. Um, who's the next person? Who's missing? Who's missing, guys? Luis. Luis, right? Mm -hmm. Don't hide, Luis. Don't hide yourself. No, teacher. I am in this pose. <laughs> ah, let's do it, Luis. <laughs> nah. Any more? <laughs> ya empezamos. Yes. My name is Estefania. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you to I am this. I work for Salvadorian Records. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador. Yes. Uh, so big. We are a movement. Sorry, we are a worldwide movement. Uh, uh, there are mm, lo, a lot sectional. Uh, what what company do you work for? I work for the government institu institution. That's great. <clears throat> I don't visit it. There are a lot of institutions. Institution in San Salvador. Oh, we are planning on launching one in Cabañas these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Very good, guys. Good. Who's missing? Julio? Did you pass already, Julio? I believe Julio is missing, right? And Lisa? Okay, let's do it, guys. Hello, my name is Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am Julio. I work for Park Plus. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, there are three stores in the area. This in Salvador. Uh, what company do you do you work for? I work for Expo Salvador Frison. We have another sound industry in our city. That's good. I visited one branch office the next Monday. Okay, there are only two sound industry in the country. One in Lourdes and another in our city. We are opening one branch office in San Pedro Sula. There isn't one yet. Okay, finish. 
Very yes. good. Good job, guys. Perfect. Who's missing? Nobody else is missing? No, right? Okay, sorry for the for the delay. I will go through the attendance list right now. Let me get a second and I will go through the attendance list, okay? Just one moment. One moment, please. Um, Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present, teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present, teacher. Marcos Amir Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present, teacher. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Present, Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present, teacher. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present, teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Ángela, sorry, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Great, perfect. Thank you very much for that, guys. So, let's see. All right, let me share the screen so we can continue with the class, guys. Allow me just a moment, please. Okay, so guys, do me a favor and let's have uh, right now three minutes to go to the bathroom to drink water or to do something you need to do. Three minutes, please. Three minutes and come back, guys, please. Come back at 18, 9, 18, 9, 18 okay? Mm -hmm. Let's have three minutes break. Tres minutitos, guys. The breakcito. And you come back. Mm-hmm. 
Hello guys, thank you for joining back. All right, so I believe everyone is here. Yes, guys, we will go ahead and start learning, um, well, continue learning, because this is a review about there is and there are. Let's have two minutes to read this. Let's try to read it and then I start explaining to you. I know you already know that information, guys, but we will try to bring it bring back, it back. Okay? Okay. In the past. So let's go ahead and try to read it, guys. Okay, guys, so uh, there is and there are, it is, they are used in order to say some, that something exists, okay? We use there is for singular, let me get a second. Okay, we use there is for singular form, for example, there is a tree in the yard. We use plural for expressing, I'm uh, sorry, we use there are for plural form, okay? For example, there are two cats on the shore, okay? Plural, we use there are, and singular, we use there is. That is in present form, okay? Simple present, okay? The contraction of there is, is there's a tree. There's a tree. Okay, instead of saying there is a tree, you said there's, there's a tree. The contraction for there are, we don't have contraction in there are. There's no way that we contract it. So please pay attention with this because with there are, there are no contractions. The negative form of there is, is, there is not. We just add the not after the is, okay? We add just the note. We, there is not a tree in the yard. The negative form for the plural form is, there are not two cats on the shore. There is not a tree on the, in, the, in the yard and there are not two cats on the shore. The contracted form for there is not, okay, is either there's not a tree in the shirt or either you can say there isn't a tree in the jar. There are two ways of contracting there are not. Okay, so let's repeat after me guys because there are two ways of contracting the negative form. There there's not. Repeat after me. There's not a tree in the yard. There's, there's not, not a tree in the yard. There's not a tree in the yard. Or you can say there isn't a tree in the yard. There isn't a tree in the yard. There isn't a tree in the yard. The the okay, very good. What is the plural form for negative contraction? Is there aren't two cats 
on the shore. Repeat after me. There aren't two cats on the shore. There aren't, there there aren't, aren't two cats, cats, two cats, cats on, the, on the chair. Very good. What about in questions? In questions, guys, we say, is there a tree in the jar? Or that's in singular. And in plural, are there two cats on the chair? Are there two cats on the chair? Remember, this is so, this is in order to say that something exists. Okay, para decir que algo existe. Okay. Um, we also use any guys. Any in questions with uncountable nouns. For example, is there any water in the cup? Okay, is there any water in the cup? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. That's the way of answering a yes, no question, okay? Is there any water in the cup? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Use any in negative sentences, just in negative sentences. And also in questions. Any is for negative sentences and in questions. For example, there isn't any water in the cup, okay? There isn't any water in the cup. So we use any for uh, negative statements and for questions, all right? What about with plural form? Use any in questions with plural nouns. For example, are there any cats? Are there any cats? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. Use any in negative sentences. For example, there aren't any cats. As well, guys, with there is and there are, there is a question. Okay. There is a magic question in order for you to answer that. And the question is how many? How many trees are there? There are mm, five trees. How many cats are there? There are one cat, okay? So let's do something right now. I'll go ahead and ask you some questions, real questions, all right, real questions. Oh, but let me share, share the screen, sorry. I will ask you some questions right now, guys. Um, but I need to see you. I need to see you. Um, Christian, is there any cat in your house? Can you repeat, please? Is there any cat in your house? Any meow? No. Any meow? No. Any mish, sorry, any mish. No, no mishes? No mish. No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Ah, okay. Why? No, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 forget it. Because I don't like, I prefer <gasps> the dog. Christian, why? I don't like either, but I have one and she's my favorite and I love it. But that's the only one that I love. <laughs> and there is a, <laughs> if there is a cat suffering on the street, I really like him again, or I'm, I mean, I really, I really like it as well <laughs> because he's suffering. I always say, hey, there is a cat suffering. Let's take it home. <laughs> and later on, I can support a lot of cats, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Um, let's okay. see, Luis. <laughs> Hi, Luis. How oh. many, how many children are, Mister there in your house how many children are there uh, no there are no no i mean how many children there are no children teacher no children uh -huh. the, the difference is guys that i'm asking an open question and a closed question okay yeah. so del diablo teacher why? Luis is not, they are not. 
grosero, malo, no. They are not from the devil. Ay, oh, sí. Sí. Y Lisette, mire, va de reír. Me he tomado. Algún día, Luis, algún día. Lo vamos a ver ahí chineando, ya va a ver. Oh. <ríe> Eso es del día. No, Les quiero pues... contar algo. Ahora, cuando me... Algunos escucharon, cuando me, eh, me conecté, les dije, guys, había una gran tormenta y había un montón de, oh my God, thunders. trueno, dije, thunders. Y me dice Luis, ay, teacher, I'm sorry. Um, you can go out, algo así me dijo, you better go out, me dijo. You should get out. Ajá, you should go out, me dijo así. Porque había un montón de thunders y hasta rayos. Y me dijo, you should go out, me dijo. Pueden creerlo. Pero it's fine, it's fine. Para admirar la naturaleza, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Sabrinita. It's fine, Sabrina. Don't worry. At least you're, you're joining the class. So you don't lose bueno, a minute. Bueno, ya nos okay? Okay, so thank you for joining. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Hello. Luis, Luis is so mean. Luis is, is the one that is mean. Okay, guys, so the reason why, Luis, it is because I was asking um, yes, no question to Christian, so that's why Christian answered, oh, no, there aren't, or no, there isn't, etc. right? In your case, that was a that was an information question or a WH question because I asked you how many children, how many children are there, and you you should answer. There are no children in my house. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't hear uh, the W. Don't worry, Luis. Okay, let's see. Carla, um, is there in your house, right? <laughs> is there um, is there any parrot? Is there any parrot in your house? Parrot. <laughs> The one that the, makes a lot of sound. <laughs> there is there. The, is one, there? No, I mean, let me ask you the question again, Carla. Is there any parrot there? I mean, is there any parrot in your house? There are. Not parrot in the house. Okay, so the answer will be Carla. No, 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 there isn't, teacher. No, there isn't because it is no. a yes, no question. Uh huh, yes, no question. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Let's see. Um, Mabel, Mabel, is Mabel here? Mabel, Mabel. Oh, yes, he's here, Mabel. Sorry. Here. Don't worry, don't worry, Mabel. Mabel, how many um how many trees do you have in your I mean how many trees are there in your house? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> how many trees? How many trees Three. are there um, in your house? Uh around my house. There are um four. Trees, Four trees around my, my oh yes. around your house and inside your house in front of my house in front of your house portraits oh wow that's that's good thank you Mabel okay great so guys see the difference between wh questions and between yes no question whenever someone asks you how many how many are there how many um is there you should respond or you should answer with the whole information. There are or there is depending on how the person asks you. But if I ask you, is there or are there? Your answer will be yes or no. Yes, no question, okay? 
So let's see, do me a favor guys and um, give me an example word with there is. Jaime, could you please give me an example with there is? <clears throat> okay, um, there is a, there is a TV on the table. There is a TV on the table, very good. Uh, Lisa, could you please give me an example of negative statement with there is negative? We can hear you, Lisa. No le escuchamos. Ay, Marcos. <clears throat> ah, okay, okay. Marcos, Marcos, give me a sentence with negative, a negative statement. Uh, there aren't, there aren't two, two cats in my house. There aren't? There aren't two cats in in the store, store, anywhere. Okay, very good, great. Lisette says there is not an unicorn in my house. An unicorn, okay, very good, great. Perfect, guys. Okay, very good. Guys, do you happen to have questions about this structure or do you feel that it's difficult? Questions or should we practice more? No, no questions? Comments? Is it easy or difficult? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see, let me go ahead and make it smaller okay guys so now we have these exercises let's go ahead and make it make them together put there is or there isn't that are or there aren't into the blunts okay i will ask you to please help me out jadixa with the number one jadixa could you please help me to read the number one okay There is a coffee, no, the, there is a coffee table in the rooms. Okay, the great. Room. Oh, sorry. I forgot to, to, to tell you that it's going to be based on the picture, okay? Based on the picture, we will answer those questions. I mean, those answers. We will complete, sorry. There is a coffee table in the room. Is that true, guys? Do you see a coffee table on the room? Guys. Hello. Hello, hello, guys. There is a coffee table in the room. That's true or false yeah. based on the picture? It's true. It's, it's, true. it's true, right? True. Okay, great. True. Sabrina, could you please help me with the number two? Me, me lo tapa, teacher. Me lo tapa, me lo tapa. Sabrina. No, go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, there is a base on the table. There is a base on the table, guys? There isn't. There isn't, there right? Isn't. 
there isn't, okay, there isn't a base on the table. Very good. Okay, uh, let's see. Marielos, could you please help me with the next one? Number three. Marielos is not here. Uh, Marta Lidia, could you please help me, Marta, with the number three? There are some books in the room. Very good. Is that right, guys? There are some books for, uh, uh, right. in the room? For me, there aren't. For me, there aren't. Yes, there aren't. There aren't. There aren't. There aren't, right? How many uh, books do you see? How many books? Only, only, only one. one. Only one, right? There is one room, one room, one book <laughs> under the table. Okay, very good, guys. Let's see. Julio, could you please help me with the number four? There, there are some cushions on this sofa. Okay, there are some cushions on the sofa. Do you know what is a cushion, guys? Cushion. 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 Uh huh. Cushion. Yes. So there are or there aren't. There are. Is that correct? Perfect. There are. Okay, great. Let's see who else. Carla, could you please help me with the number five? There isn't. There isn't any children in the room, right? There isn't any children in the room. Okay. What about the number six? By the way, is that true or false, guys? Yes, it's true. Okay, great. One moment. Let's see. Let's go with Estefania. Could you please help me with the number six? There is a computer in the room. There is a computer in the room. Is that true or false, guys? Oh. Isn't. There isn't. There, there isn't. isn't, right? Okay, let me get a second. There isn't a computer in the room, right? There isn't a computer in the room. Okay, very good. All right, so let's see. Questions about these guys? Questions? Do you believe that all of them are correct, guys? All of them are correct. Could you please tell me, guys? Because I'm not sure. Let's see. I want to ask you. Do you believe that this number five, there isn't any children in the room is correct? Or is, is that correct, guys? What do you think? 
is fault is there aren't. There aren't. Why? If for the children's, uh, uh, the children is plural. So in this case, children is, is a singular, but I can use any. Any is auxiliary for plural. Children, children is plural. Singular. Child is singular. Children are plural. Children. Exactly. We have it here that. Sorry? No, no. Sorry, because right now it's raining here, but I, I just want to ask you guys if there isn't, is, if it is there isn't or if it is there aren't. There aren't. There aren't. There aren't, right? Because we're talking, I mean, we're saying children, okay? And children is plural guys plural okay so since it is plural we will say there aren't okay because we can say we can say there is there is any no there is a children sorry there is children in the room we can say that okay we can say that because we're talking about more than one child. Children is plural. So we say there are children in the room. So therefore, guys, in the negative form is there aren't, okay? There aren't. One moment, please. There aren't, there aren't any children in the room, okay? There aren't any children in the room. So guys, do you happen to have a questions, a question regarding this? Oh my God, sorry for my microphone, guys. Guys, could you please, sorry, Jaime, could you please uh, help me to read this text? Sorry, I'm trying to charge the, the computer. Uh, Jaime, are you there? Yes, teacher, but uh, uh, it's raining here. It's raining. Yes, it's raining here as well. Y me escuchan bien. Do you hear me good? So yes, loud. No me escuchan bien. Yes. 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 The, ah, okay. Your voices is uh, clear. It's clear. Okay. Um, Jaime, you say you it is raining there, right? Let's see. Okay. Uh, Fatima, could you please help me to read this text, please? Okay. Choose there is and there are to state this, that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. Uh, not after be to create the negative form. There is one office in San Salvador. 
There is not a store the city. There are three distribution centers in Elopango. There are not many places to have a meeting. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that, Fatima. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and read the sentences and try to find the mistake and correct it. Okay. There are there are mistakes on these five sentences, but you will choose what is the sentence that is that has the mistake. So let's read them carefully and try to find the mistake. Please. We have five minutes to do it, okay? Five minutes to find the mistake in the sentences. By the way, uh, Jonathan, sorry, uh, could you please stay with me in the one on one session, Jonathan? I don't know if Jonathan is here. No, right. Uh, let's see. Let me go to the next one on the list because Jessica cannot do it right now. Um, Julio Cesar Ramirez, is there any way you can stay in the one-on-one session today? Julio? Yes, Puede. Teacher. Oh, okay. yes, teacher. Thank you, Julio, I appreciate it. Okay, so let's continue working on that. While you're working on these guys, I will go with the last attendance, okay? Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mesme. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Your teacher present. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present teacher. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Ah, uh, one moment. Jessica El Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present, teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present, teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. We will try to find the mistakes together, okay? Um, Estefanía, could you please help me to read the first sentence? There, there are two branches in El Salvador. Great, that is the correct form, right? There are. There are two branches in El Salvador. Very good. Uh, 
Uh, Amilcar, could you please help me to read the number two? Uh, there is one facilities uh, available. Okay, there, there is, right? Yes. One facility, is that facility or is facilities? Facilities. Facility? Or facilities? Teacher, but facilities is plural, no? Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, yeah. So what would be the best option? Mm. Facility. Facility. The one. Very good. There is one facility available. Here we have the option of saying there is one facility, guys. Pueden corregirlo así o pueden decir ustedes. There are two uh -huh, facilities available. Lo pueden hacer de las dos maneras. For me, it's fine. We can correct it in both ways. There is one facility available, sorry, and there are two facilities available. Okay? Very good, Emilcar. Um, let's see, Kevin, could you please help me with the number three? Is Kevin here? No, Kevin, Kevin. All right, uh, let's see. Sabrina, could you please help me with the number three? There are new offices. There, there are, are new, new offices, right? offices without the A. Very good. Without the A, very good. There are new offices. What is the other way of saying it? There is a new office. Great. There is a new office. Good job, guys. Very good. Uh, let's see. Jonathan, could you please help me with the number four? Jonathan or Marielos? Marielos, uh -huh. there, there are not materials to work. There okay. are not. Oh, there are, are not. not, right? Or there aren't. Not. Very good. There are not materials, materials to, work. to work. Great. There are not materials to work. Very good, guys. Okay, great, Marielos. Let's see. Um. Kenny is here. Kenny, could you please help me with the number five, Kenny? Okay, teacher. Um, there are not three boxes in the lobby. There are not three boxes, right? In the boxes lobby. In the lobby. There are not three boxes in the lobby. Good job. Very good, guys. Congratulations. You did an amazing job, guys. So I would like to ask you guys, we have right now two minutes left. I would like to know if there's any question about there is and there are right now. Remember, this is the second time that we study there is and there are. So is there is there is there any question about this topic no questions is that clear okay so i have questions for you what is the wh question for how how, how i'm sorry <laughs> What is the WH question for there is and there are? Mm -hmm. Guys? 
Could you please give me an example of WH question? Of uh, Could you please create a WH question with there is or there are? Mm -hmm. When, where are branches? No. Where is? I didn't understand the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> What, what is the WH question that we use for there is and there are? How many? You said the answer, uh -huh. how many, how much? <laughs> yes, how many? Sorry. Many. How Thanks. many? <laughs> how many? Okay, how many? How many for there is and there are? How many? Okay. And actually, how much for uncountable noun? Okay, which is there is. Very good. Okay. <laughs> I know I, I already said the answer. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So let's see. Um, what is the contracted form for the two contracted form for there are not? No, two contracted form for there is not. What are the two contracted forms? For there, there is not. There is not. There is not. There is not. Very good. There is not and there isn't, right? Good job. Okay. You got the 10. You can go. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining to this class. I hope you have an amazing night. See you tomorrow, guys. And we will have a little review tomorrow about this topic. And then we will we'll start with another topic, okay? So have a wonderful night. Take care. Julio, you just stay with me, please. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good have a good rest. Bye-bye. Take, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Take care, see guys. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Let's see, is Julio here? Ah, Julio, sorry, no lo había visto. Hello, Hello Julio. Teacher. How are you today? Oh, sorry, teacher, guys. Have a good night. Ah, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, thank you. Thank you a lot, Julio. So uh, tell me, how are you today, Julio? Good? Casi no le escucho, teacher, porque está lloviendo aquí. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. It's raining here as well. How are you today, Julio? It's a teacher. Eh, la semana pasada no estuve muy, muy al pendiente. Solo estuve oyente, venía manejando y todo eso. Pero sí, no entendí uh -huh. la parte de cuando se usa what you need, what my friend did, what I go would do, ah, and what okay. I am saying is. I got it. The what closes, right? Sí. Eso era la what closes. Sí, no se preocupe y gracias Julio por, por preguntar. La verdad es que entiendo, usted me había comentado de que, de que no podía, así que pues muchas gracias por comunicarse conmigo. Voy a intentar hablarle así para que me escuche mejor porque sí que yo sé que es bien difícil, acá está lloviendo, pero sí, ya se calmó un poquito, pero sí no les podía escuchar antes muy bien cuando estaba lloviendo muy recio. Así que pues... Si no me escucha, me deja saber, ¿ok? Voy a sí, tratar sí. la manera. Déjeme ver, ya le comparto la pantalla para que veamos ese tema rapidito. Deme un segundo, Julio. Ok, acá está, mire. ¿Puede ver la pantalla? Sí, sí, sí. Muy bien, perfecto. Vaya, fíjese de que el What Closes eh, es un tipo... 
Este what es un tipo de noun clause, ¿verdad? Que es un tipo de, de, un tipo de, de, de cláusula que de nombre that begins with the word what, ¿verdad? Esta es una de tantas. Hay muchas otras cláusulas que también funcionan como una noun clause, ¿verdad? ¿Y por qué funciona como una noun clause? Porque puede servir como un sujeto. Esta frasecita de la cual nosotros vamos a hablar sirve como sujeto y usualmente, no todas las veces, pero la mayoría de veces, le sigue un verbo to be. Como por ejemplo, yo tengo la segunda eh, clause, bueno, la segunda oración, perdón, que es what I wanted was something to live in up the garden. Fíjese que nosotros le llamamos close a lo que está subrayado acá donde dice what I wanted was, solamente eso sería una cláusula. ¿Y por qué nosotros le llamamos una cláusula? Es porque no es una oración. Una oración se compone por tener un significado coherente o que brinda un mensaje completo. Pero si yo le leo esta cláusula, yo se la leo what I wanted was, lo que yo quería era. Mm, lo que yo quería era, o lo que usted quería, ¿qué era, teacher? Usted me va a preguntar porque no le estoy brindando un mensaje completo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Desde right. este punto, usted ya no tiene una oración, sino que tiene ya sea una frase o sea una cláusula. Entonces, la mayoría de cláusulas comprenden un verbo, perdón, un verbo y un, un pronombre a veces, Sí, un verbo y un pronombre. Algunas tienen un nombre o un, o un verbo, ¿verdad? Pero no le brinda a usted un mensaje completo. No sé si se recuerda de la clase pasada, del curso pasado que veíamos el if clause o el when clause. Y esas eran cláusulas que eran eh, de posibilidad. No sé si se recuerda que decíamos de una dependiente y de una independiente que decíamos si si está lloviendo, tú te mojas, ¿verdad? Algo así decíamos. Entonces, right, sí. era como que una cláusula no tenía coherencia, no daba un mensaje claro, ¿verdad? Entonces, este es un segundo tipo de cláusula, ¿verdad? Solamente que este es una noun clause y funciona como un sujeto. Entonces, esta cláusula, si nosotros la analizamos ahora detenidamente, what I wanted, was something to live in up the garden. Le voy a quitar esto. De hecho, disculpe porque el was se lo añadí anteriormente. La cláusula de la que estamos hablando es esta. What I wanted. Y esa ahorita está funcionando como sujeto. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Analicemos la oración y dice, lo que yo quería era... Entonces, acá el verbo principal de toda la oración es era. Es un pa pasado, eh, es un verbo to be en pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo, desde que tengo este verbo y ya lo comprendí que este es el verbo principal, yo estoy hablando entonces, acá estoy hablando de lo que está antes de era. Pues yo que estoy hablando de era, que era algo para animar o para embellecer mi jardín, ¿verdad? Entonces, dice, lo que yo quería era algo para animar o para um, embellecer mi jardín, ¿verdad? ¿De qué, ¿De qué estamos hablando en la oración? Estamos hablando de lo que yo quería. Recuérdese que el sujeto muchas veces puede ser una persona, un animal, una cosa, una idea. ¿Sí? Como cuando nosotros también decimos fumar, es dañino, fumar todos los días, digamos, es dañino para la salud. En inglés di, di, dijéramos smoking every day is dangerous for your health. En esa oración, si usted se fija, nosotros estamos diciendo que el hecho de fumar todos los días es peligroso. Entonces, ¿cuál es el sujeto de la oración? Fumar todos los días, porque estamos hablando de él. Estamos hablando del hecho de fumar todos los días es peligroso, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, este es un ejemplo que lo podemos comparar con esto, no por la estructura, sino para que veamos otro punto de vista que también pueden haber ideas bastante grandes en las, las cuales pueden funcionar como un sujeto. Y esta es una de ellas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que estamos viendo exactamente, que esta what close va a funcionar como un sujeto, ¿verdad? Como un sujeto. Uh -huh, como un sujeto. Y la mayoría de veces está compuesta por el what al principio y luego puede que tenga un nombre y un verbo, ¿verdad? Y ese verbo es parte de esta, de esta cláusula, no es parte de la oración que sigue, es parte de la cláusula. Y acá muchos tienden a equivocarse porque ustedes pueden ver dos verbos y usted me dice, Tiche, pero es que yo veo uno acá y yo veo otro acá. Sí, mm -hmm. pero este... El que más, el principal acá es, es este. La mayoría son verbos to be, pero no todos. Entonces, eh, esto es parte de la cláusula de la que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto ya no le pertenece a, a, la, a lo que es el verbo, sino que le pertenece al sujeto, porque es parte de la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, una oración normal... Es, I wanted something to live in up the garden, ¿verdad? Usted puede decir, ah, yo quería algo para animar el jardín. Pero si usted quiere enfatizar o destacar más, ¿verdad? Algo, usted utiliza este tipo de cláusula y es uno de los usos de, de esta cláusula, que es para enfatizar o, o enmarcar algo, resaltar algo que usted quiere de verdad que se resalte, que otros lo noten más. Entonces, acá tenemos más ejemplos de lo que les estoy mencionando, mire. Ahorita le muestro. Que de hecho, el what closes, además de tener el uso de enfatizar, que es el siguiente que le voy a brindar ahorita, este, para enfatizar algo, como por ejemplo, podemos decir... What makes me really angry is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Usted normalmente puede decir que eh, fox hunting, que la cacería de los zorros, is a traditional sport, ¿verdad? Pero usted quiere enfatizar que lo que a usted de verdad le enoja es el hecho de que fox hunting is a traditional sport. Entonces, esta cláusula de verdad se refiere más para enfatizar, hacer énfasis en cosas que usted quiere resaltar. Entonces, ese es uno de los mayores usos. Y de hecho, Julio, yo, te, yo les mandé dos videos a ustedes, muy bonitos acerca de estas cláusulas. Las voy a volver a mandar okay. para que usted lo vea. Y ahí tiene como un video completo solo con cómo podemos enfatizarlo, pero este es uno de los usos, ¿verdad? Y los otros usos que nosotros tenemos para este What Closes es para introducir un nuevo tema, para dar una razón, instrucción o explicación, o para corregir algo que ya se ha dicho, ¿verdad? Esos son los, los usos también. Como por ejemplo, y de hecho eso le quería mencionar, que esta Close, aunque usted la ve acá, no todas las veces va a estar al principio, a veces va a estar en medio o a veces al final. ¿Por qué? Porque recuérdese que acá tenemos tres ejemplos, Julio, pero de estos tres ejemplos puede que haya una oración grande, como por ejemplo esta, mire, esta es una oración bastante grande, pero si usted se fija, estas oraciones se llaman oraciones complejas o oraciones compuestas. Porque dentro de una oración hay muchas más oraciones o hay muchas más cláusulas en, o frases, ¿verdad? O preguntas, qué sé yo. Entonces, usted siempre enfóquese en una oración. Si leemos nosotras esta, esta, mire, dice, We've only got this email bookcase. Aquí tenemos un mensaje, una oración y tenemos una pregunta. Will that too? Y luego tenemos la respuesta, no, what I was looking for was something much bigger and stronger. Entonces usted puede que identifique esta what closes en textos grandes. 
Y el hecho que no sea al principio como está en la primera no quiere decir que no está actuando como sujeto. Lo que usted tiene que hacer es analizar todo el texto y ver exactamente que esa cláusula de what está siempre de sujeto en una oración. Porque en esta oración el sujeto es we. En esta sí. oración will that do es el sujeto es that aquello o eso y en esta oración mire dice what I was looking for was aquí hasta aquí está el, el verbo y uh -huh. este es el predicado entonces quiere decir que lo anterior es el sujeto what I was looking for lo que yo andaba buscando era y que era algo más grande y más fuerte entonces no nos vayamos a confundir, a confundir, sorry, cuando veamos estas cláusulas en cualquier lado de la oración, de un texto, perdón, pero al final siempre hay que ver y identificar a qué oración pertenece esa cláusula, ¿verdad? Y la mayoría de veces, algunas veces, está actuando como sujeto. En un futuro nosotros vamos a ver más tipos de cláusulas. Este nada más es un 10% del tipo de cláusulas que tenemos, ¿verdad? Okay. Y hay unas que empiezan con otra WH, que empiezan con that, que empiezan con if, que empiezan con where, con when, etc. Y otras que ya no funcionan como un sujeto, sino que funcionan como un objeto, etc. ¿verdad? Entonces hay mucho más eh, que estudiar pero esta es como una pequeña introducción, dejémoslo, bueno, digámoslo así, de las cláusulas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso es básicamente como lo más que se tiene que, que ahondar acerca de este tema. Le voy a mandar esos dos videos. Hay uno que me gusta mucho que, que dice que se utiliza para enfatizar. Entonces, le da a usted dos oraciones, así como estas dos. Y, le, y dice, ok, enfaticemos una, le dice. Entonces, lo enfatiza y da los ejemplos de, de la manera como lo va a enfatizar. Entonces, ese es uno de los usos claves y bastante utilizados para este what close. Se los voy a mandar, Julio, para que tengamos una mejor idea de eso y entendamos un poco mejor ese tipo de uso que es el que más, el más común, ¿verdad? Pero sí... Qué bueno que me lo pregunta y cada vez que tenga ese tipo de dudas, déjemela saber y, y yo con gusto le ayudo. Pero quisiera saber si la explicación que yo le acabo de brindar le ayudó a usted a entender un poquito más, Julio. Sí, teacher, porque sinceramente no entendía nada. Pero <ríe> sí, es que es una explicación un... suya, sí. Bueno, qué bueno uh -huh. saber eso. La verdad es que es un tema un poco complicado. Yo se lo dije cuando yo lo empecé a dar. Les dije, me alegra mucho que están viendo este tema porque realmente eh, al final cuando usted ya lo aprende, usted lo ve no tan complicado, ¿verdad? Más que todo la práctica. Pero creo yo de que es una buena introducción ¿Verdad? Para ver después las otras cláusulas, porque como les digo, faltan muchos, muchas cláusulas y no la vamos a dar en una clase todas porque se confundirían, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos paso a paso y qué bueno que empezamos con este tipo de cláusula. De hecho, el curso pasado empezamos con las de posibilidad, ¿verdad? El if y el when. Entonces, al menos ya tenemos como esa introducción. Ahora tenemos el del what, probablemente el otro curso o en este mismo curso veamos otro tipo de cláusula, y así, entre más usted vaya um, aprendiendo de las cláusulas, más le va a ir entendiendo, entonces cuando usted ya vea los otros tipos de cláusulas, lo va a entender un poquito más, pero sí, eso pasa, Julio, pero qué bueno que me lo dijo, y pues quisiera saber si hay algo más en lo cual yo le podría ayudar, algo más que usted tiene dudas, o desea practicar más, algún otro comentario o pregunta, Ahorita solo esto, teacher. Me manda los videos y voy a tratar, si los manda sí. hoy, los voy a tratar de verlos ahora mismo. Sí, ahorita se los voy a mandar. Ya los estoy buscando. Mira que me gustaron muchos esos videos y yo los mandé con el fin de que muchos se quedaron así como que mmm, lo dimos como en dos clases porque hicimos otro review. 
pero por lo mismo en la complejidad del, del tema, Creo que también eso dio paso a muchas confusiones y yo creo que sí había que reforzar más con un video o con dos videos si es necesario. Se los acabo de mandar y si tienen preguntas me deja saber, Julio. Hoy. Okay, teacher. Muchas gracias, teacher. Bueno, ya sabe, un placer, Julio. Espero que tenga una excelente noche y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Igual, teacher. Nos vemos. Bueno, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Take care.